Hi everyone! Today I'll be showing you how to sand and polish an enameled piece of cloisonne. As you can see it's uneven and we're going to be using the flex diamond, the medium, the very fine, and followed by the felt wheel with my jewel tool compound and we'll just follow it up with the cerium oxide right here in my hands for an extra polish. Now, put the flex diamond on, get situated, and you know here's a little great tip you can use when working on glass. To make sure you got the full surface, here let me actually zoom in, and I'll be using my water tray right here. This is the drawer that's conveniently located underneath your jewel tool machine. And right here I'm going to show you how uneven this is. It's brand new. And you can see how lumpy and bumpy it is. The cloisonne is actually sticking out right here. The silver pieces right here. The sides are extremely sharp and we're going to get all that done smooth and high polished in just a jiffy. So I'm going to go ahead and darken the surface and this will allow you to see where you are grinding to make sure you've gotten the whole surface smooth. You guys see that? You see how lumpy that surface is? And we're going to get, of course, the metal right here that's running through there. All in one shot. So let's get started with the course. I'm going to run this at high speed with a little water. Now remember, you don't have to saturate it with lots of water because the water is used as a lubricant, not as a coolant. The patented disc will create enough airflow and allow heat to escape so you don't have to worry about the heat aspect of grinding. So let's get started. High speed with some water. You can put some on the disc if you wanted to. But we'll just hold it right here. And you can see how it wants to attack the higher areas. Roll right into that. Here's how some more water. You can roll. If the edges are slightly curved, you can roll. Now I know these edges are really sharp, so I just want to kind of roll and kind of smooth them over just a little. What's nice with the jewel tool, it'll handle everything all in one shot. So if you want to smooth the whole side down, you can. And just give yourself a nice smooth finish. Same with this side. Same with this. Oh, this is so fun. And just roll back over. And there you have it. So the surface is nicely, oh, let me see, I, I see a little spot right here. No problem, I can make a beeline straight for that and get, get that immediately. You see how quick that was? Now you can see how the surface is completely flush. So you've ground both the silver and the enamel at the same time. We've got those sharp edges removed and the round little bump edge is now smooth. So we'll just go to the finer grade of a medium and as you can see my diamonds are quite worn down. They do last a very long time. These are real diamonds made by 3M. So you can use this step again. I'll just do a quick little zhuzh across so you can see what I'm grinding. And right now we're just going to sand it down. Kind of kind of like doing your nails. We're just getting the rough scratches off. So you just want to make sure it's nice and even at this stage. So you don't have to hop around. Just take like this and glide left to right like a rocking chair up, down, left, side, all that good stuff. And you can see it as it works right through the wheel. Let me get that edge. Go nice and smooth. You want to do that corner one more time, nice and smooth edges. There you go. 
Now we're just doing it a little finer. And I think that should do it. Let me just make sure I got it all smooth. This is an important step because this one will take the very rough scratches out from the step prior. So it's not a bad idea to make sure you got the surface completely taken care of. Or else you'll notice it in the polishing stages. And I think we're good. Just want to show you how I just glide left and right side to side and that's it and you can see already it's almost at a fine polish at this stage T take a look at that but do you see how even the surface is it's so smooth right here next stage next step will actually be the very fine and again mine are quite used up and I just want you to know that it's okay to use use diamond because they will last a long time so don't worry about that These wheels actually came from the Tucson Gem Show, and before that, they were used. So, they have a long lifespan. So, you can see already it's like a polish. So, we're just going to sand it down. Just make sure you got this nice and smooth. No need to hop around. Again, get that area nice and smooth. Let me see. Now we'll just do that whole inside. There's a certain area. Right then we'll get that sides nice and taken care of, smooth, fine. Oh, that's gorgeous. Already, you'll see a nice sheen develop even at this stage. Look at this just so you guys can take a look at it. Nice and clean. It's not hot, I'm holding it bare in my hands, but do you see already the sheen? So you're pretty much already there. And it's smooth and smooth on the sides. It feels so luxurious and um, professional. So I'll use my felt wheel. And again, with this felt wheel, you don't want to use any water. It's a pressed New Zealand wool and it will expand if you apply water to it. So. Only my polishing compound, start from the middle and give yourself a nice liberal amount. And you just hold it right up against it and it'll polish both the silver, cloisonne, and the glass at the same token. And I can see every little thing I'm working on. Oh, that's gorgeous. And if you need to put more compound on, if you feel the need, go ahead and stop for a second. Compound will always help you out, make the job easier. You can polish the metal at the same time, and we are done. One more shot. And there you have it. So we have a beautifully polished piece. See that the metal aren't, is nice and smooth on the side, nice and smooth on the sides. It's gorgeous. You see how the light reflects? Oh, that looks so professional. Now, from here, it's your uh, choice if you want to go to the cerium oxide. If you do, run it at very slow speed and apply water. Cerium loves water because the water is what will allow the cerium to come off the wheel as it's impregnated with it. And there we go. Right here. See that again? Another higher polish. Now, this all can be accomplished using our Jewel Tool enameling kit. So it's found in either with a Jewel Tool or on its own as an add-on kit at JewelTool.com. Thanks for watching.